In this tutorial, I wanna show you how you can connect two different Macs using just an ethernet cable to pass MIDI between different programs. Hey everyone, and welcome back. In our previous tutorial, I showed you how to send MIDI, uh, basically using a virtual MIDI cable between two different programs on the same computer. In today's tutorial, I wanna talk about doing a similar thing, but uh, between different programs on different computers. Now, the way we're gonna do that is by using a ethernet cable, a wired connection. There's a lot of different reasons why you may wanna do this, but uh, in the studio, it's it's a great way to, you know, again, have sounds in different computers or um, uh, basically send MIDI from one machine to another machine. For, uh, a live perspective, it's really helpful to send MIDI from Ableton Live to control main stage, to control maybe ProPresenter, Resolume for video, lots of different reasons and ways to do this. One important note before we get started, I'm gonna show you in the context of this uh, video how to do this on Mac. If you wanna do this on PC, it's a pretty similar process using either IP MIDI or RTP MIDI. Um, I'm gonna do this again from the Mac perspective. If you'd like to see it from the Windows perspective, do me a favor, comment below and just say, hey Will, I would love to see a Windows tutorial. Um, and again, if we get enough comments, maybe we'll consider doing that. I've got a couple Windows PCs that are very underpowered but may work for that tutorial. Okay, final note. Then we dive in. Um, while you could do this over Wi-Fi, I highly suggest using a hardwired ethernet uh, cable. Um, if you're on stage, you 100% need to be hardwired. If you're doing this in your studio, Again, it's probably okay to get by with Wi-Fi, but you'll have a way better experience hardwired. So let's talk about our connection here. I have this computer here in front of me, a Mac mini. I have an ethernet cable going from that into a network switch. This is just a cheap $50 network switch I got at Best Buy, okay? Uh, and then in front of me, I have uh, this MacBook Pro and I have an ethernet cable going from it to the same network switch. So both of these computers are on the same network. Okay, again, could be wireless, but I'm gonna do this hardwired. Now, one final note, and I promise we're getting to it. Uh, in the context of this tutorial, I'm gonna uh, send MIDI from Ableton Live to another Ableton Live session, um, but this could be anything. This could be Ableton Live to Resolume, Ableton to ProPresenter. This could, it doesn't even have to be Ableton. What I'm gonna show you in this video would apply to any software. So let's start over on what I would consider and call like my main machine, okay? So here's my main computer, I'm gonna go to to audio MIDI setup. Again, this is on the, the Mac side. Um, I'm gonna use spotlight, command, comma. I'm going to hit enter to go to audio MIDI setup. Next, we wanna go to window and uh, we want to go to show MIDI studio, okay? That's gonna open our MIDI studio here. Now, um, depending on what OS you're using, in fact, while I'm recording this, uh, Apple's about to release a new OS. This window may look, look a little different, but uh, it seems to be pretty consistent if you navigate via the menu like I'm showing you here. So if it looks different, don't freak out, just slow down, rewatch the video, just follow the commands in the menu, okay? So now um, I'm gonna go back up to the menu bar here to MIDI Studio, and I want to go down to Open MIDI Network Setup, okay? Uh, we see this MIDI Network Setup window here. What I'm gonna do is add a session, so we'll press plus. Uh, I need to name my session. Here's what's really cool. We get two options to name, local name and bonjour name. Um, I'm gonna move pretty quickly through this, but local name is, is how this connection will show up on your computer. Bonjour name is how this computer will show up on the network. What I suggest doing is name your bonjour name first, okay, and I'll, I'll show you why. So let's go to bonjour name. What computer is this? This is, let's call it my main Ableton computer, okay? Now, what computer am I gonna be connecting to? If I'm doing this like just one computer to another computer, then in local name, I'm gonna put whatever the other name of my computer is. Hopefully this makes sense. It'll definitely make sense when you see it. If you're connecting to multiple different um, um, computers, then then you know name it whatever you want to. Okay, so let's go. Local name here, I'm gonna call this remote Ableton computer, right? Because that's what I'm gonna be connecting to in a moment. Now, uh, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom left who may connect to me. We're gonna change this to anyone. That is key. If you do not change this, this will not work 100% of the time. I can assure you that. Then we're gonna click enabled. Once you enable it, you should get an IP address. You see IP address stuff show up here and see a port number show up here, okay? Now, let's go to our secondary computer. Uh, I'm calling this my remote Ableton computer. Uh, I'm already in audio MIDI setup, so I'm gonna go to window. Again, same process, I'm gonna do show MIDI studio. Once this loads, I'm gonna to go to the MIDI Studio window and do Open MIDI Network Setup, okay? We already see our other computer showing up here in the directory. You may or may not at this point, that's perfectly fine. So let's click our plus icon here. We're gonna create a session. Now let's do uh, the same process, bonjour name. The name of this computer is Remote Ableton Computer. Okay, and for local name, I'm gonna name my what my other computer is. So basically I'm gonna flip flop between this, right? This is my main one, and this is my new one. So this one is gonna be called Remote Ableton. 
Oh, excuse me. No, this one's going to be called uh, main Ableton computer. There we go. All right. So now bottom left hand corner, or again, we got to change anyone. And then we're going to uh, enable, oh, we lost our name there. So let's try this again. Main Ableton computer. This will really make sense once you see it in the context of uh, Ableton. Uh, so then we're going to hit enable. Let me take you back to our main machine now. So go back over to our main machine uh, and you'll see listed in the directory here, remote Ableton computer. If I take you to our remote computer, you'll see listed in the directory here, main Ableton computer. Now we can establish the connection on either of these. This is just a matter of personal preference, but for me, I try to start on the main computer and, and make it the place where I make all the connections, but use whatever machine you want to to do this. So in this case, I'm going to go to directory. I'm going to click remote Ableton computer and hit connect. Okay, so on this computer, you see remote Ableton computer listed and on our backup computer, you see main Ableton computer listed in the participants. Um, at this point, if you don't see that showing up, it may be something with your Firewire. It may be the fact that you're using wireless on one and hardwire on the other. Um, a couple like troubleshooting things I always work through and walk through is, um, again, double check your IP address, double check that you're using the right connection. Uh, if you have Wi-Fi enabled on one, disable it uh, to switch to the other. Um, um, it's very possible if you're doing this on like a public network that it's blocking it. So content, uh, potentially uh, consider just buying a separate network switch that's just dedicated to this. That may be uh, the ticket that helps. Okay, so at this point, uh, I have connected both of my computers. I've established uh, using an ethernet cable, basically a, a MIDI cable that's going from this computer to that computer to pass 16 channels of MIDI. I could create multiple different network sessions from Ableton to different computers, uh, Ableton to different programs, whatever I wanna do. Um, but what I wanna do in the final step is show you how I'm gonna configure Ableton Live. You may or may not do that. You, again, may be using different programs. So you know, feel free to hop off the tutorial if you're not using Ableton. But the last step of this is to configure the programs to send MIDI properly to network session and receive MIDI from network session. So I'm gonna show you that next, but before I do that, I wanna ask you to consider subscribing. I post a brand new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central, showing you how to perform on stage with Ableton Live. So if you use Ableton Live on stage, um, even in the studio, uh, this is a good place for you. It's primarily all about using Ableton Live on stage, performing on stage, and again, brand new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central. So subscribe and enable the bell icon. So at this point, we We've got our connection made. Let's go back to Ableton Live. Let's go to preferences. I'm on my main computer, okay? If you're not using Ableton, this doesn't apply. But the thing that does apply is to make sure this computer is sending MIDI. So I'm going to link tempo MIDI. On the output side of here, I'm looking for my output, out network. And again, remember how I made that big fuss about how to name these? This is why. On the output side here, I go, oh, I wanna send MIDI to my remote Ableton computer. You see that show up here, right? So I can enable track to send MIDI out of there. Now, in this Ableton session, if I go to, let's go to a MIDI track here, and I say MIDI 2, I wanna send this to my remote Ableton computer, right? Which is super straightforward, super easy. Let's go back to our uh, uh, remote Ableton computer. Let's go to preferences this time, command comma, link tempo MIDI. On the input side of this, let's look, we see network main Ableton computer. Um, I want to receive MIDI from my main Ableton computer and send it to Ableton Live's track. So I can enable track there. And then again, I'll press tab if I wanna go over, let's create a MIDI track. If I don't wanna receive MIDI specifically from that computer, I could do MIDI from and go main Ableton computer. Uh, and I could choose the MIDI channel I want, right? And drop a MIDI device on there and receive MIDI from that computer. So hopefully that helps, gives you, starts to give you an idea of the possibilities of what we could do here. Again, I'm just doing this between one computer and another computer, and I'm using just Ableton on both of these, but the possibilities are endless to send MIDI from Ableton to ProPresenter, to Resolume, uh, to Keynote, to Keylab, you name it, uh, main stage, and it doesn't even have to be Ableton. The possibilities really are endless. Again, if you wanna learn more about the connected stage, performing on stage with Ableton, and live hit subscribe enable the bell icon it's free and nine out of ten doctors say hey it's gonna make you happier and give you a better life maybe i don't know about that one thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time take care everybody bye